right, uh, what was your spring break like? What did you do? I stayed here and I worked out. That's pretty much it. <laughs> you don't want to go anywhere fun? No, it's not time to have fun right now. <laughs> it's not time to have fun yet. So when you guys uh, get back to practice now, what's the kind of the focus and where's this team at right now? Well, the focus is being able to get everyone on the same page right now. Um, you know, I can't tell where we're at right now because, you know, we're still trying to recuperate, getting all the new guys to understand how things work, you know, in practices, you know, but we, we had a, you know, we had our first practice, you know, looked pretty good, you know, but the second practice, we got to pick up the pace and, you know, we got to, we got to do things a lot different than we did last year. A lot of eyes are going to be looking at you with those new guys to, to mm -hmm. kind of lead them, show them. Is that easy to do for you or is that something that you kind of have to grow into? Well, I think it, it's it's pretty easy, especially when you have guys that, that could show you the way last year, you know. Guys like Jalen being able to show us, you know, those kind of things, you know, things that he used to do, especially our freshman year with me and Mac. Um, so being able to help these guys and teach these guys, it's nothing new. you got a couple of new faces in that quarterback room. Just what have you seen out of your brother, Paul, and all the new guys? Well, you know, they – they got to work. That's all I can say. They just got to work. Um, got to come in with the mindset day in and day out that, that they got to work. And, you know, everyone's competing for a job, you know, just because I did this last year, you know, did whatever, you know, it doesn't mean that I'm guaranteed the starting position. I got to work too, you know, and so we got to keep that mindset going within the quarterback room. And I mean, they're, they're, they're phenomenal guys, you know, but they got to work. You like having your brother around? It's good to have them. It's good to have them. Um, I mean, you know, but when we're on the field, you know, we're just teammates. We're not brothers, you know. I'm going to treat them the same way I treat, you know, the next quarterback or, you know, my other teammates. You know, and then off the field, he's my brother, you know. I'm going to try to protect him, take care of him, do everything I need because he's my brother. But, you know, on the field, we're, we're teammates. How do you find that line? Is that something you and him have to kind of say something to each other or is it just understood? It's just understood. It has to be understood. Um, you know, if our dad was the head coach, it wouldn't be given to us as well. It would, it'd be the same way, you know, so. Talk about your relationship with uh, Chief Sarkeesian. Mm -hmm. Well, I knew um, Coach Sark, you know, since he offered me at USC, since when, when he was the um, head coach at USC. So um, my relationship started there and, you know, it ended up growing when he was here. He was supposed to be, you know, the OC when I was a freshman, but then he ended up leaving for the uh, for the Falcons, I believe. And you know, it was it was a little difficult to kind of have that relationship still because he wasn't part of the organization. But now that he's back, I mean, it's easy. You know, he's he's a relationship kind of person. He's a people person, and um, he makes it very easy um, makes it a very easy learning environment for us as quarterbacks. Is your third offensive coordinator, third quarterback coach to work under uh, any uh, transition, I guess, issues that you've noticed? Not really, not really. Um, you know, we're still implementing, you know, kind of his style of play into our, our new offense, and we still kind of have, you know, the same things that we ran last year kind of implemented in this. So it's a good mixture. How do you build that player kind of coach relationship? Because there's obviously things that Coach Lockley did that, that really suited you well there's things that he wants to try new with you. Do you guys kind of have that communication back and forth like, hey, this worked for me, maybe we can implement something. Do you have that yet? Well, yeah, I'd say we do. You know, but it gets to a point where, you know, he got to be able to implement his things without me feeling comfortable as well because what if it's best for the team, you know, and it's not best for me. Then I got to be able to hone in on, okay, now I got to work on this, 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 you know, to be able to make this play work, you know, so um, – it's a little bit of both. You know, I'd say it's a little bit of both. Where's Hunter tonight? Obviously, a lot's made by the difficult teams of all the coaching turnover. What are some of the positives of that being a new face and some new ideas to be there every year? Well, you're always getting better. You're always looking at getting better. Um, you know, with these new coaches as well, um, the ideas that they have, you know, it's they always have different perspectives on how you've seen things, you know, and being able to watch, you know, previous games of last year with these guys as well, you know, I got to learn things that I didn't learn from, you know, my previous coaches, you know, and so it's always a learning motive, you know, going forward with new guys, new faces. This will be the final question. In the areas you're looking to improve on as far as your game this uh, this spring? Um, there's a lot to, 
is a lot to work on. You know, I'd say the, the biggest thing for me to work on would be my eyes, because um, my eyes can be a blessing for me and it could also be a curse, you know, because I get through things so quick that I end up skipping progressions as well. So um, I'd say I need to tie my eyes to my feet. So. Oh. Thank you. Thank you, Dale. Thank you, guys.